it going? It's Ginger. Remember me? It's been like almost three months, I think, since I've done a chatty car vlog. So, I thought I would get back to the world of YouTube and say hello and see how things are going. Um, sorry about the angle and the lighting. Everything's probably pretty crappy, but you know, do what you can with what you got. And at the moment, I'm driving back to work. I'm on my lunch break, so this may be a little short and sweet just to kind of get back in the swing of things but uh today is wednesday so happy hump day uh it is august 21st and i think the last time i did a chatty car vlog was probably maybe april or may it's maybe may i can't honestly even recall it's been a minute um so Let's see, what has changed since then? Um, I spent a week in the hospital in June. Thought I was gonna have to have surgery, but didn't, so that was good. Uh, they just pumped me full of some antibiotics because I had an infection related to my past health issues. If you know about that, you do. If you don't, you're not missing much, or yeah, I just don't have time to go into it right now. Uh, um, if you want to know and you're really that curious, then you can leave a comment below and we'll get into it. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see. I moved to a new group at work in April, so I feel like I may have mentioned that in my previous chatty car vlog, so I don't want to really linger on that too much. Sorry for the bumps. I just went over a little train track there. Um, let's see. Justin's driving a truck still. He's working over the road, but he's kind of the past few weeks been working more like on a dedicated run where he has the same route. It's kind of between Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. He seems to really like that at the moment, so that's a good thing. He kind of knows where he has to be and when and, you know, all that. There's not like a lot of question. He's not waiting to get a load sent to his computer and wondering if he's going to be going to, you know, the tip of, I don't know, Maine or something one day or over somewhere, you know, crazy where he's never been before, you know, that kind of thing. So, anywho, um, he likes it, so that's the main thing. Um, we like that he likes it. Uh, I got my hair highlighted recently. I don't know. You can tell it looks a little different. Um, I've been meaning the last couple weekends to buy a curling iron because I haven't had one probably since the early 90s. So I need to get one so that I can kind of curl the, the bottom of my hair and make it look a little more uh, vivacious, I guess. And, pretty and lifelike like the uh the uh hairstylist did miss christy who is also my preacher's wife she's the one who um cut and curler let me try that again who cut and colored i still am trying to say curled and colored at the same time that's not gonna work ginger um <laughs> she cut and colored and curled my hair um and did kind of some I don't know if you can really tell there, but it's got it's kind of some long choppy layers. There are different layers down towards the bottom. But she left some length there because it sits kind of here, you know, a little past my shoulders, which I wanted that. But it was halfway down my back, so she took several inches off. So, um, I don't know. If you haven't seen me in a while or seen pictures on Facebook, Snapchat, or whatnot, you might not can tell. But anyway, um, so yeah, I want to get back to doing some vlogs and doing some YouTube videos. Uh, bad glare on here. I don't know how that's going to show up when I actually post this video. I'm using the iClips um, app right now to record this. And then I'm going to um, post it on YouTube. So hopefully this glare that I'm seeing is not going to be a big factor when um, I post the actual video. I hope it's just the sun on on my end of things off of my phone and doesn't affect you guys too much but anyway um so let's see any other news um my cousin and his wife that live down on the coast they found out that they are expecting she's probably about four months along now so they have a little one coming 
and I may be a little off on the timing, but I think her due date's sometime in February, like the end of February. Um, they just got married February 23rd, so they'll have been together about a year when the baby comes. Um, they have um, my cousin, he has a little boy from a previous relationship, Maddox, who is four. So this will be their second child, because um, basically, my cousin's wife Catherine is the only mom that Maddox knows. His mom is not really in the picture. Um, so, um, and Maddox lives with him full time. My cousin has full custody of him. So, um, they're wanting a little girl, of course, but you know, they'll be happy with either. So, uh, we're excited. I think they find out in September, so just next month, you know, the gender of the baby. So, that's exciting news. Um, uh, I don't really know any other super duper exciting news or anything major going on. Um, my dad, um, who you may not know, but, uh, currently we, Justin and I currently rent a place from him that's located on his land. Um, but my dad and stepmom are currently looking for a new place to buy. They want to move out of their house and buy a a house and you know a few acres somewhere else so then their house would be up for sale along with the land that it's on um there's also a house in the same neighborhood that may be up for sale so justin and i have started doing a little um research um oh i've barely started to be honest with you but i'm going to start I, uh that's kind of on my to-do list i guess i should say so, I have the task of um, starting to research first time home buyers um, information and everything I need to know about that because we've never tried to purchase or get a loan to purchase a home, you know, of any sort. We've, since we've been together, the six going on seven years we've been together, we've always rented. So we want to check into that because we want to possibly either see about buying my dad's house in the land it's on or buying this other house in the neighborhood in the land that it's on. Um, because we're not getting any younger. We don't want to continue to rent. We want to be able to buy a home and fix it how we want, decorate it how we want, and it be our own. So um, I'll keep you guys posted on that whole process. Um, like I said, it's just kind of in the beginning stages. My dad and them are still looking. They haven't found a place yet to buy. And, you know, we don't even know the exact amount that they're wanting to sell their house and land for. Nor do we know the specific amount that the other gentleman is wanting to sell his house for. He's supposed to be talking to a uh, realtor friend of his to get someone in there to appraise his house because it's an older small brick home. I've talked about it on here before. It's down at the end of the road right next to the train tracks. So that's the only downside. Um, but um, it's still a nice little home and he would have to get somebody in there to appraise it and um, kind of go from there. So we'd have to get some numbers, get some figures, and then start looking into, you know, what all we need to know and what kind of information we need to obtain and get together and get ready to talk to, you know, banks or loan companies about, you know, first time home buyers type loan and go from there. But I'd like to be, you know, better equipped, better prepared, know the right questions to ask. So hey if you're out there and you have that information or you know what to say what not to say what to look for any key points um you know if there's that one nagging question that nobody likes to ask but really should ask or one thing everybody forgets to look at you know or you know if you've got that vital piece of information that i need to know that nobody ever wants to bring up or whatever it may be please comment below and let me know because i need to know um, but I plan to do some digging and some research and try to be as prepared as possible. Um, and I haven't been on here a while, so I know I only have a handful of subscribers because, as some of you know, I had a YouTube channel before and it was deleted by my own silly fault <laughs> and I didn't get to it to reactivate it in time so then I started this one and now I just have a few little bitty followers which I appreciate or subscribers I should say I appreciate every one of you but I do want to grow this channel a little bit so 
With that being said, if all of you have a friend, family member, neighbor, Aunt Mary, Uncle Bob, whoever, somebody that you think may be interested in, you know, some of the subjects that I have posted in the past on my other channel, on this channel, or the things that are coming up, please, you know, share and let them know. Ask them to subscribe. Go steal their phone, subscribe for them. They'll never know. It's not going to hurt them. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but seriously, yeah. Don't be afraid to share, like, comment below, all that good stuff. Um, I was actually on hold here at work earlier today, and I was jotting down questions. I'm going to do a tag in probably the next few days. I know it's not quite fall. I was just watching a video where somebody did like a little comedy sketch about um, people arguing over the fact that it's still summer because it's like not September 20. 1st or 22nd or whenever fall officially starts on the calendar and it's like 110 degrees out and then somebody's like but there's pumpkin spice things out and it's it's you know starting to look like fall and is if I turn my AC up you know to where it's like really really cold or whatever then I can feel like it's fall and all this other stuff and um so it was kind of just a funny little argument going back and forth and so I started thinking about it so um, the title of the tag is like it's fall y'all and so I've got some questions that are fall related and I just thought it'd be fun to do because I'm definitely a fall person I'm so ready for it to be fall and I'm telling you guys this room that I'm working in and this new group that I'm in it is freezing do you hear me? I'm wearing long sleeve for goodness sakes. I mean, like, I'm wearing my Vital Care t-shirt, of course, but I'm wearing long sleeve because it's generally, like, 50 degrees in there. Maybe not 50, but it feels like it. So, I'll be burning up for the, like, two minutes it takes me from, walk to, from walking to the car to getting inside the building. But as soon as I get in there, after a couple minutes, I'll be glad I have this t-shirt on. So, yeah. Anywho, I'm going to wrap this up. I really just wanted to check in, say hey, hope that you guys are doing well. Comment below, say hi. Um, like I said, share with your friends, family. Maybe I can get a few more subscribers. I'm going to try to start making a few vlogs a little more often. I can't promise that it'll be daily right now, but I'll try to check in. Um, but I've been doing good. Justin's been doing good. The puppies are good. Um, I've gotten a new kitten since I think I last vlogged. I've only had her about a month or a little more. Her name is Molly. She's kind of looks like a little, um, like a tabby. She's got a lot of black but she's kind of like a tiger stripe little tabby not like a silver tabby though she's got more dark colors in her more black and uh darker colors um but uh she's really really cute she almost kind of looks like she's got an m right here and that's part of the reason i ended up naming her molly i wanted something with an m name because the stripe she's got right here kind of look like an m and um so she's really cute and feisty and drives me crazy but i love her to death um and then, uh, and her and Nyla, they are finally getting along. They were not such great friends at first. I was a little worried about that, but they're getting, getting better every day. And we also have another new addition to the pet family. We got a, um, half moon double tail beta fish, um, like two weeks ago and his name is Harley it's short for Harlequin because I was trying to find a word or name that meant like colorful or multicolored and Harlequin is one of the definitions is multicolored and he's really really pretty I'll try to do a video with him or post some pictures or something I think I've deleted the little video I had of him where I would add it to this but anyway I'm gonna wrap this up guys I will be checking in soon I'll do the fall tag and maybe some of you guys will be interested and can do it as well um, but I hope you have a great day and a great rest of your week and I'll be talking to you soon bye guys